Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we are going to talk about something that is very close to my heart and very important to me. But before we do that, go ahead and like this video, give me a comment, and subscribe to my channel because I've decided to make a vegan playlist for you guys. So for anyone who's interested out there to learn more about becoming vegan, how to do it, why you should try it out, that is all going to be in this playlist I am making. So today's video is about why I became vegan, and then my next video will be on how to become vegan. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So what I wanted to do was just talk about my experience with this and what made me want to do it, and also give you some information on some things that you might not have known about. So let's get into it. All I'm really trying to promote here is love, positivity, and maybe answer some questions that people have about veganism or open your mind to a new way of eating. So I grew up in Dallas, Texas, and and my family, they weren't vegan, they weren't vegetarian. Uh, I don't think any of them had even tried it. And I grew up eating your normal foods, you know, chicken nuggets constantly. I had ground beef when we ate spaghetti. I had hamburgers all the time. We lived right next to a Whataburger. And so if you're from the South, you know Whataburger has some good stuff. I wasn't the biggest fan of pork, but I did grow up eating meat like any other person does really. Now I will say that I didn't eat as much meat as a lot of other people do. Uh, I really only ate a lot of chicken, so it was like chicken nuggets, chicken in the salad, chicken alfredo. I ate a lot of chicken, but when it came to red meat, I really only ate hamburgers. I didn't like steak, and I hardly ever ate pork just because I thought it was gross, but I did eat turkey. So as I got older, around the age of 19, I started hearing about people who were vegetarian, and I thought, you know, I wonder if I could do that. I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. I usually just eat chicken, so if I just stopped eating chicken and then hamburgers, I would basically be vegetarian. And I was like, you know, maybe I should just try it to see if I can do it. In the beginning, there was no huge reason for me, really. I just wanted to see if I could do it. So it was kind of like me challenging myself. So I decided to just try it for about a week. So I told my parents, this week I'm not gonna be eating any meat. And they were like, why, what made you change your mind? You know, they started getting concerned, as a lot of people do when you say this. And I was like, I just wanna see if I can do it. So I started cutting meat out from my diet and literally from then on, I haven't had it since. I felt really good, I had more energy. I felt lighter, I don't mean physically. I just felt like a lighter person, like happier and just not weighed down mentally. So as I continued with this diet, I started to do more research on it and I was looking up the benefits and something I read was it can help prevent cancers and Alzheimer's, which to me has always been something I kind of think about because I had both of my grandmas who had breast cancer and then I had two other women in my family who had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and I was thinking, you know, if this in any way truly can prevent these things from happening to me, why would I not want to do that? I was already trying to figure out ways that I could keep my brain healthier and, you know, not eat certain things that might feed cancer cells in the body already. But then when I read that cutting out animal products from your diet can help prevent those things as well, it just made me want to do it even more. So I guess you could say my first real reason for choosing this lifestyle was for health reasons. But then also, I have always had a very big soft spot for animals in general. Not just dogs and cats, but it's just, I have always felt like my heart reached out to them. I guess it's the fact that they don't have their own voice to say what they're feeling or what's going on in their head, and they're very vulnerable. So after I researched some health benefits of cutting out animal products, I started going down the dark hole of animal cruelty, which is now my biggest reason for continuing to be vegan. I can't fathom the idea or support the idea of something so innocent and vulnerable being killed for me to consume it. So I have been vegetarian for a few months. And of course my reason for not being vegan yet was I love cheese, 
I need cheese. If I don't have cheese, what am I gonna eat? It felt like I would be cutting out so much more food as well as meat that I would have nothing left to eat but like bowls of lettuce all day, which I'm sure is what a lot of people think but it's not the case at all. My question also was, why is the dairy industry so bad anyway? Is it really cruel? Do they really treat the animals bad if they're just getting milk from them? I didn't know anything about it. I wasn't educated on it. But after watching some videos and reading articles, I learned that cows are continuously impregnated by humans over and over again. They are impregnated so that they can produce milk, just like, you know, a mom has a baby and she produces milk. That's what happens with these cows. They have their babies and they produce milk, but the milk is being used for us and their babies are taken away from them. So it's a vicious cycle of a cow being impregnated over and over again, having her baby, it being taken away from her, and then having to produce milk to feed all of the human population. And then it gets to the point where these cows are impregnated so much that they become very, very weak. And once they're too weak to have babies anymore, they are sent off to slaughter and they are made into meat. So it's really, if you think about it, a very selfish process. These cows are constantly going through this awful thing that breaks their bodies down so that they can go and, you know, be turned into hamburgers or ground beef or steak. So something else that I learned about dairy is that there are legally 135 million pus cells in one glass of milk. That's nasty. So after learning about just those few little things, I was completely turned off from dairy. I was like, you know what? I don't even need it and I don't even want it. So if you're interested in going vegan for health reasons, just remember it can help prevent cancer in your body. It can help prevent Alzheimer's. It can help prevent heart disease. If you are wanting to lose weight, it helps promote weight loss. I'm not saying that if you go vegan though, you will lose all your weight or your gains that you made in the gym because believe me, that's not the case. And I will make another video on that just to show you. It also helps to lower your blood sugar levels and it improves kidney function. Not only that, but it also can reduce the pain from arthritis if you have that as well. So if you're interested in learning more about the health benefits of a vegan diet, you can go look them up on healthline.com and there's also plenty of other articles out there as well. Now another great reason why you could go vegan is climate change. I know some people don't take that seriously, that's a whole other thing, but if you do, just know that factory farming is a huge component when it comes to climate change. In fact, factory farming does contribute to climate change more than all of the different types of transportation combined. Factory farming is also very responsible for pollution and deforestation. I'm gonna put a clip here of the late River Phoenix talking about some of these things. He is a huge inspiration to me for many reasons, but I just want you to hear some of the things he has to say. Yeah, species that we haven't even discovered yet in the rainforest that have been uh, mutilated and, and are forever lost and, and plant lives and, and medicines and all sorts of amazing uh, um, properties that take millions of years to develop and then in, in a single day we just cut it down you know uh, two football fields every two seconds or something and, and it's and it's so that we can have cheaper hamburgers so with that being said i just feel like if i can help in any small way possible when it comes to protecting our climate protecting our planet becoming a healthier person myself and also preventing any other animals to go through some of the things they have to go through for us to consume them why would i not want to do that. After learning all these different things and then really thinking about it, it wasn't even a question anymore. It wasn't even like, I didn't even have to think, well, oh, do I really want to do this? Is it worth it? To me, it was just like, there, I have no other, I have no other option. I want, this is what I want to do. And you also have a ton of options when it comes to food. Now, since all of that has been said, I would like to say, I don't ever want to come off as being pushy or in your face when it comes to veganism. I just like to tell people about it if they're curious. I'm not on here trying to say, you need to become vegan and if you don't, you're a bad person and blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna beat you over the head for anything like that. That's not the case at all with me. I just like to share my experience and if you're curious, I would love to talk to you about it. Now, if anyone has questions for me or they are considering this but they're not really sure how to go about it, 
please message me. I would love to talk to anyone about this if you're interested. I would like to also challenge people who might be curious about trying this. If you're one of those people, I would love to challenge you to try a vegetarian diet for one week and then the next week try a vegan diet. It's just two weeks. It's really not that hard, I promise you. If you want some ideas for vegan meals or how to even go about it, my next video is going to be on that topic. So if you're interested in that and you think you could do it, comment down below, challenge accepted. And also if you have any questions, Leave those down below as well, and you can message me on my Instagram or my Twitter. And just remember that even if it's a small change you make, it can still make a difference, and eventually it could become a domino effect. So thank you for watching this video. Stay healthy and safe out there, you guys. I love you. Wow. This camera's so nice. Ooh.